Peace. <clears throat> Colors. Hope. Peace and hook. Order. Hook. Right. Peace. Order. Hook. Joe Orsine, I'm a retired Gulf Falls police officer and a longtime friend of Chief Davis. I first met Jack 24 years ago when he joined the police department. I was selected to be his field training officer. During this time, as we worked together, it was evident that Jack was intelligent, honest, had a great integrity, initiative, and a very even disposition. Also developed during this time was a close and lasting friendship between Jack and I and our family. Congratulations, Chief Davis. I wish you the very best. I've known Jack for a long time, not only through his roles with the police department over the years, but also because we are both members of the First United Methodist Church here in town. Jack and my wife, Amy, went through school and graduated from Falls High together. I've watched his daughters grow up at church and at school, and of course, have known his dear wife, Kathy, from our time working together when I was an administrator with the Cotton Falls Schools. Thanks, everyone, for coming. It's a great day for Cotton Falls, and I'll just be brief about Jack. I know it's his day and not mine. Uh, but certainly the people have chosen me to lead the city, and I choose Jack Davis to lead the police force with honor, integrity, and he definitely knows how to treat people, and that's the atmosphere that we portray in the city. I state your name. I Jack Davis. As chief, as chief of police, as chief of police, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear, that I will faithfully and impartially, I will faithfully and impartially, uphold the Constitution, uphold the Constitution of the United States of America, the United States of America, the Constitution, the Constitution of the State of Ohio, the State of Ohio, the Charter of the City of Cuyahoga Falls, the Charter of the City of Cuyahoga Falls, the Ordinance of the City of Cuyahoga Falls, the Ordinance of the City of Cuyahoga Falls. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you. for appointing me in this cabinet and city council for their support of his choice. Um, I got to thank Joe Arsene for coming to be a part of the ceremony. Uh, Joe gave me a great start to my career and he's given me a lot of guidance <coughs> excuse me, through it. Um, I'd like to thank uh, Superintendent Davis for agreeing to speak here. I, I really enjoyed working with the schools. Um, Dr. Nichols, um, you know, Superintendent Davis here too. And really all the schools were a big part of that. And it's part of the job that I really enjoy doing. So I really appreciate it. I uh, appreciate Reverend Baker for coming. And I also want to thank him for what he preaches at the church. It, it does help guide us in our lives. Um, thank my parents.
to the men and women of the department, I want you to know that I respect you. I respect what you do for our community. I've been a part of this community. I've raised my family in this community. And what you do affects our daily lives. And I respect that. And what I ask is for you guys to respect each other. Now, that's so important to our department to maintain a positive image and for everybody to respect each other for what we do. And to respect the citizens of this community. They even trust us with quite a bit. And it's important that we show respect to them for what they've given us. Um, it's an exciting time in the police department. We got a lot of new faces, a lot of new people in different leadership positions, and we're going to have some more promotions upcoming. So it's, it's exciting. We fired some new people recently. So this is a great time for us to make some changes and, and grow as a police department. Um, we have a great opportunity to do great things, and I know you're all up to the challenge. You know, one thing Mayor Walter said in, in his uh, his speech when he got elected was that he wants there to be two kinds of people. Uh, those that live in Cuyahoga Falls and those that wish they did. And I've had the fortune of always living in Cuyahoga Falls. But I think it's important for us in the police department to help make that, that reality happen. Um, it's, it's a great thing. Um, I'm humbled to be the chief of police in this great city. I look forward to the challenges we have ahead because I know together we will be able to handle them. So God bless you. God bless the city of Cuyahoga Falls. And thank you all for coming.